Hey guys, this is Wilson and welcome to the Montlake Terrace High School shop. This video is to help you pass the shop safety certification for the bandsaw. Just remember, you always need instructor permission before using the tools. And before you start, you always need eye protection. Safety glasses are available here in the shop. And anytime you are around a tool, that means inside these dotted lines, you need to have safety glasses on. All right, let's get started with the bandsaw. First, what is a bandsaw? A bandsaw is literally a band of steel with saw teeth on it, and it spins very quickly, about 60 miles an hour, to cut through the material. So we have a lower wheel and an upper wheel. And although the tool looks really cool right now, it's very, very important to have both of these guards shut before you use the tool. All right, so before you cut, there's a bunch of adjustments that we can make on this tool. First thing that we can do is adjust the blade guide assembly. And that is done back here. So this is called the guide post, and we have this lock that we can use to lower or raise the guide. What I like to do is lower the guide onto the wood, lift the wood just a little bit. So you see how it's just lifted a tiny bit off the table, and then tighten it. Now, on the test, it's gonna say that that blade guide has to be less than a quarter inch over the wood. So my, fing oops, my fingers can get in there, that's bad. So I'm gonna lower it just a little bit. There. So now my fingers can't get in there, I can't touch the blade, I'm in good shape. So these here are the blade guides. And there's a little bit of gap there so the blade can wiggle around and that way it runs smoothly. These should never ever be tight. Back here is the thrust bearing and when you cut the blade gets pushed against that thrust bearing and that bearing pushes it forward. All right, last thing we can adjust is down here under the table. So if we look here, we have a little protractor telling us the angle the table is in relation to the blade. Right now it's about 90 degrees, and this says zero. So it's telling us the degrees off of 90. I'm gonna loosen the two big black knobs. These are called the table clamps. They clamp the table in place, and when they're loose, it allows us to cut at funny angles. Most of the time, you're gonna cut at 90 degrees. Make sure that's nice and tight. This, of course, here is called the table, and this here is the table insert. All it is is a piece of metal that we put in there to cover up that hole. All right, blade guides are set to less than a quarter inch. Blade guides are not tight against the material. The guy, the wheel covers are in place. Now all I have to do is hit the on and off switch and get started. Now remember, before you cut, you wanna keep your fingers out of the path of cut. So keep them over here and always keep your fingers at least two inches away from the blade. That's about the size of the table insert, so that makes it easy. All right, let's get started. Press the on button. Slowly guide the material in. I don't want to grab that to remove it, so I'm going to use this piece of wood to push it out of the way. And then we turn it off. Once this blade is off, it's going to keep spinning. Never ever stick a piece of wood in there to slow it down. Now that it's stopped, 
there it goes, I can walk away. If you need to cut multiple pieces of wood to the same length, it's okay to set up a fence. This is a fence, it's a piece of wood, perfectly parallel with the side of the table. And the distance between the blade and the wood is the exact size I need cut. Alright guys, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the video on the different parts of the bandsaw because that will be on the test too. Good luck.